Would I recommend this to a friend? Probably not. Hey everybody, I'm Raven Maureen and I am back today with another mystery box. I just can't seem to get enough of them. So this one is from Fabric Wholesale Direct and they have mystery boxes from 10 pounds all the way up to 20 pounds. So I got one just in the middle and it's 15 pounds. And as usual, I haven't opened this one. So all of my reactions are gonna be super new, super fresh, everything. And as always, this is not sponsored content. So they did not pay me for this box. I bought this, own, I bought this box with my own money. So without further ado, because I've had this box sitting in my living room for like two days now, <laughs> let's get into it oh my gosh i'm so excited okay so first of all i do appreciate that it's a box and i appreciate that it's not busted open and this actually came pretty fast i ordered this late last week and it they did it via fedex they shipped it through fedex and it got here on saturday like I want to say they told me it would take seven business days and it took closer to two or three. So that was nice. So I have bought from Fabric Wholesale Direct in the past, um, more so like Rayon Chalice and a couple of Twills. And they're known for like their direct from warehouse uh, business model. So um, we are going to see what's in here. I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous. <laughs> So the packing slip only tells me that I bought a 15 pound fabric box. So I'm guessing maybe there's no content with this. All right. So off the top, I see some ripstop here, which is great for, I would say like, um, like rain stuff, like rain gear possibly. So like a hoodie or something. I do not see any sort of yardage on here. So I don't really know what I could do with a yard and seven eighths of ripstop, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Um, I don't believe this is something, I have to look into it. I don't know if this is something I can make swim trunks out of, but I will research that. All right. So this is definitely some sort of buttercream lining fabric. It's definitely a lining for sure. So this one is also approximately a yard and seven eighths, but you can definitely use it for something. Yeah, that's like a poly satin lining, I would say. Pretty close to a poly satin lining. Okay. Oh, I think this is another lining, but it's like a nude lining or like a bronzy lining. This is pretty nice. I like this. I like that color. The color is really nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. I did look at their reviews for the fabric boxes and it seems like a lot of people really like them. So that kind of drove my purchase, I guess you could say. So again, another yard and approximately a half or seven eighths or five eighths, but I can still get a good piece of lining out of this Ooh, this is really pretty look at how beautiful and bright this blue is oh my goodness I love this um let's see this feels like a I don't know it might be some sort of sateen but definitely like something for formal wear I just love this blue you don't really see blues this bright like that a lot, you know? And I like that it's a solid too. There's a good amount of fabric here. I do wanna measure this out. Let me see. Oh my gosh, do y'all see that? There's a big old hole in there. Okay. I really don't appreciate the hole. The hole is kind of rude. Like, that hole is crazy. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see that hole? Um, 
I really want to talk to the manager about the hole. <laughs> okay, this was nice until I saw the hole. Now I'm like, so what do I do with it? <laughs> um, wow, okay. So we have a hole. That's definitely going to take some yardage away from this. <sighs> That's kind of disappointing because this is so pretty. The hole is really blowing me right now. Like... <laughs> I don't know what to do about that hole and I really don't know what the fabric is either it's really two yards and then the hole is like outside of the two yard range so I don't know I'm just gonna it's two yards so we have two yards it can definitely be used for formal wear but it would be limiting because if it's two yards I could really only do either strapless or or like like really thin straps, maybe not even a cap sleeve because yeah, it's not enough, but I don't know. That hole was unkind. <laughs> All right, so we have more ripstop. This one is yellow. You know what I'm thinking? Like, okay, if there's like a baby or something and they need like a little poncho, this is probably enough, but unfortunately for me, I, I don't have small children, so I don't know how much this will work, but this is definitely some more ripstop or like rain gear kind of. And there's, they gave me the red, they gave me the yellow. I don't know. I'm not really feeling like the rubber ducky vibes, but um, we'll see. One, I bet you it's one and a half because that's what they've all been. About one and five eighths. I see a lavender lining in here or a lavender poly satin. Okay, now I'm nervous because what are we looking at? Another hole? But <laughs> let's see. Um, this is definitely like a poly satin. It feels really nice and smooth. Um, I don't know how it's showing up for you guys on camera, but for me, it is showing up like... Um, like a lavender almost yeah this is showing up like a nice really pretty lavender it looks like it's quite a bit here yeah this is a lot y'all this is five yards of lavender poly satin i'm sure i'll find some sort of use for it it's very pretty i don't wear lavender a lot um it's not an ugly color it's just not a color that i have a lot of use for in my wardrobe but i am sure that i will find something to do with five yards of this poly satin that's for sure all right oh oh okay so this is white and this is definitely a polyester jersey lining of some sort or just a polyester jersey or something i don't know if that's the right word for it polyester jersey polyester knit i don't know but it's starch white it's definitely something that i have seen used underneath like um the mesh fabric that we have in our bridesmaid dresses at david's bridal i've seen fabric like this as the lining fabric so this isn't totally wasteful <laughs> Um, but it is something that I would definitely use as a lining. I don't think I, I can't see myself using this as, as like outer fabric, if that makes sense. So, so far, a lot of these are lining fabrics, um, utility fabric, definitely for the ripstop. And I don't know. So the box was, Let's break down the cost. The box was like $59.99, I think. So far, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about some of these fabrics. Like, I think some of the lining fabrics are pretty. The blue is gorgeous, but they kind of lost points for me with that hole in there. Um, the ripstop, I have no idea what I'm going to use for it. And this, I haven't quite figured out yet, but this could be actually be a pretty good match to the white fabric that I got at Mood. Like, if I wanted to use this as a lining for the fabric. Just an idea, but we'll see. Um, so let's measure this. So it's basically three yards of this white lining fabric. 
Okay, we'll go with it. White polyester knit lining fabric something something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, so we've got some solid black. This definitely feels like a duck canvas. It has like a waxy residue to it. Um, this is definitely a duck canvas. Definitely good for a tote bag, I'll say that much. So a yard and five eighths is what it is. Um, yeah, it's definitely a duck canvas. And I really don't like that residue that's on there, but it's, I'm hoping that's something that'll come out in the wash, but even like my fingertips are a little dark. Ooh, all right, I'm just gonna put that not near the white. Oh, ooh, y'all, this is beautiful. This is like an ivory poly satin, but it's a lot, um, it's a lot more durable than the purple one. The purple one was like more slinky, almost like a charmeuse. This one is a lot more stable, a lot more texture to it. It's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. So, so far, I feel like this box is hit or miss. Um, I'll let you know my real thoughts at the end, though, but it's hitting and missing all at once. Oh, it's like two and one eighth. That's, that's pretty decent. Um, there's no holes in this one, <laughs> but it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, we have our first print of the box. I see it. This is like a brocade. Oh, and there's a tag. Okay, the tag tells me absolutely nothing, you guys. I'm sorry. But this is beautiful. Okay. See, I, like I said, it's hitting and missing all at once. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay. Y'all, oh, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Mmm. This has got to be like just a yard. There's no way they would give me more than that. They wouldn't, they wouldn't give me more than that. I like this. I have no idea what I would do with this. Um, you know, this would make a beautiful corset. I'm keeping it. Beautiful corset. Oh my gosh. Like those like cosplay corsets that you see sometimes that the girls do. But like, it's not cosplay. It's my corset. Yeah. <laughs> This will make, oh my gosh, this will make the most beautiful corset in the world. Yeah. Very beautiful. And this is about a yard and a quarter. I would say if I was to do a corset, it might be one of those like, they call them like, um, it's not the one with the cups. It's like the opposite one with the cups. It would have to be like one of the plate ones that has like the boning throughout the whole thing. And then it has like the bias tape covering around the edges. I, that's what I'm thinking this would have to be. Or like maybe one of the panels in the center would be like one of these um, designs or something. But this would really require a lot of fussy cutting. But I bet you it would be gorgeous. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Now that... That has upped the game of this box now. I'm still side-eyeing the hole and the ripstop, though. I am. Okay, what is this? Oh, so let me get this straight. Y'all save the goods for the bottom of the box because it's just it's getting better and better right now. Ooh, it's giving bridal. Now, what's interesting is that, you know, two and a half years ago, if I needed this type of fabric, even if I wanted to make my own wedding dress, I bet you I wouldn't have found it. It wouldn't have been a not nary a mystery box, but here we are. But this, I would say, it's not a tool. It's not quite organza, because I feel like organza is a little bit, it might be an organza. I'm honestly not sure though. But this is something that you can definitely put in 
an evening dress or gown for sure okay i see another prince <laughs> all right let's see let's open this up all right it's not something i would buy but you know it's something i could use as a lining or something or if i want to make like a really cool blouse it's, it's like a poplin, honestly. It's definitely like a poplin. And it's, it's interesting. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. It's got like zebra and florals on it. Interesting combination. Yeah, it's like one and five eighths. That's kind of the average amount that they're giving in this box. Okay, it looks like I only have a couple of pieces left. Okay. Now this is nice too. So we have another like gold poly satin. It's kind of, kind of like the lavender texture. So more on like a charmeuse side possibly. I don't know, I have to see. This might be too much for me right now, but maybe with like a nice summer tan it might look nice but um hmm. so this is about three and a half yards it's pretty good i see a color in here and i'm just like not excited I'm not even excited to measure this or take this out. This is absolutely 100% broadcloth and um, mm, it's a whole lot too. It's got to be like eight yards. <laughs> like, like y'all just don't care about my box, huh? Wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um... I, I clearly I can't hide my reaction to the brown it's giving I I'm having a physical reaction to this brown and it is sending me right now um I'm gonna guess by how much they gave me by the weight of it it's got to be anywhere between six to eight yards of this and you know what I just thought of something that this is going to be my muslin because or I can use this as a twall or toil or whatever it's called because this is egregious <laughs> like like yeah I'll just use that for practice you know do some markings on it maybe I'll practice my frock tail bodice with this you know something but um to use this in everyday use I don't think so, y'all. All right. Last piece of fabric. Oh, okay. What is this? So this is definitely a knit. It's royal blue. And let's see. It feels really heavy. So... The underside is definitely polyester. So it's a polyester underside. And it's got like a double knit stretch on the on the front side here. Blue has to inspect it. He's sniffing it right now, you guys. This is very heavy though. Basically four yards of this. Um, I'm trying to think. I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, this would be perfect for loungewear or athleisure, but it could be good for something. I'm just not sure yet what it would be good for, but this is a substantial amount, amount of the blue knit. Now, uh, it's a lot of dust flying up my nose. <laughs> Ooh. So let's talk about it. Um, would I recommend this to a friend? Probably not. Um, this has probably been my least favorite box, and yet I was the most excited about it. 
um, because it has a lot of really positive reviews online and a lot of great pictures, which I know not every box is going to be the same, but the reviews really sold me on this box. So one, packaging was great. Two, the fabric was like more miss than hit. Um, and it's really just mostly utility fabric that I'm going to be able to use. Like some of the white fabric, the brocade was definitely like the standout piece. And so was the blue, even though it had a hole in it. And that was the other thing. Why did the blue have a hole in it? Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. <laughs> I have really hoped for more positivity from this, from this video, but unfortunately, um, I am not too happy with this box. I'm going to keep the fabric because, um, Honestly, I, I find it very hard to get rid of fabric. And if I do get rid of it, I'll probably just give it to the Goodwill or something like that. But uh, this is really going to challenge my creativity as far as what I can do with a lot of this. Um, so is any of it, anything I would have picked out for myself? Absolutely not, right? But that is the magic yet pain point of a mystery box is that it's probably not something you would pick out yourself. But anyway, um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And if you're not following me already on other social media channels, you can follow me at Raven Maureen on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!